Hello and welcome back to Platypi Baseball here on this fine Sunday evening. Here at the Emerald Diamond Ballpark, we have an interdivision matchup here. You are 17 and 10, division leading Platypi versus the 15 and 11, number two, B Wolves. A game and a half lead for the Platypi over the B Wolves in the epic division. And leading things off will be Kitty Kaufman. Real fast, we'll have your Platypi lineup in their batting order. Playing second base is Kitty Kaufman. In right field, Hera O. Wugliams. Playing shortstop, Beefcake McStevens. Batting cleanup in playing left field is Muffin Studwick. First base is Scooter Sandbrick. Patrolling center field, we have Linda Hand. Over at the hot corner, Sky Rodriguez. And... Back behind the dish, we have Chase Tabule, and his battery mate today is the starting pitcher, Hudson Moyer. For the opposing B-Wolves, in their batting order, we have Handley Dexterez playing shortstop. At first base, we have Randy Finley, and right field, Kobe Kingman. Over at the hot corner, we have Ruby Green, and over at left field is Buster Biggs. Playing second base is Gina Torrens. Patrolling center for the B-Wolves is Magic Moore. Behind the dish is Johnson Swanson. And Fran G Gapani is their starting pitcher for the day. And the Pot of Pie went with Chase Tabule on this fine afternoon because the B-Wolves are a an extremely speedy team. They need their best arm behind the dish. And he features their best defense out of any of the three catchers. On the pot of pie, and quickly a three and one count to Kitty Kaufman, who will walk. She had a 417 batting average on the year, and she'll maintain that as Hero Wugliam steps in with a 379 batting average, three homers, and 19 RBIs. Fran features a four seamer, two seamer, slider, curveball, changeup. And on the year, as she fires ball one, she has a 196 ERA, a 109 whip, and 24 strikeouts to her name. She'll uh, try a pickoff attempt over at first. Nothing doing over there, however. And now that's whacked foul. We have the count one and two. We'll see if Kitty's on the way. She is not. And that's a swing and a miss. Strike three. So one on, one out. Beefcake McStevens. He's playing shortstop today. He moved over to uh, give Carrie Cartman a rest. And Sky Rodriguez came in. And she is, as previously mentioned, playing third base. Another pickoff attempt, nothing doing once again. Pitch number 11 from Fran is a ball outside. Ball three. And ball four, her second walk issued in the first inning. That'll bring up the cleanup hitter for the uh, Pata Pie Muffin Sudwick. He features a 430 average on the year with three homers and 17 RBIs. And he'll look at ball one low. Honestly, not a whole lot of command of the strike zone so far. As that's There's a strike. And now that's hit. Two Torrens a second. Over to short and back to first for a double play. 4-6-3. They turn it to end the top half of the first inning. It's the plot of pie. Nothing. And the B-Wolves are coming up. Hanley Dexterez will come in to lead off for the B-Wolves. He's playing shortstop today. And he'll be facing Hudson Moyer, who features a four-seamer, a two-seamer, slider, curve, and changeup. There's strike one, a 5.74 ERA, a 161 whip, and 11 Ks on the year. And he was a late addition to the roster for the Plata Pie. And there's out number one. An easy grounder to Sky Rodriguez, getting her first chance of the day. Now that's a low liner caught at the shoestrings by Kitty Kaufman. There's out number two quickly, only three pitches. And now Kobe Kingman will step in and he whacks the first one back foul. Hudson Moyer is a contact pitcher and oh, that's off his glove. Kitty's gonna try to field it. She bare hands throws, not in time. Bang, bang play there and unfortunately the runner won out on that one as Ruby Green will step in. Bang 320 on the air is knocked five out of the park. The 0-1 to her now is a grounder. Once again to Sky. She'll cut it in front of Beefcake and fire 
a beautiful throw over to first for out number three. So, despite the two out hit nothing doing in the run column for the B Wolves, we head to the top of the second for Scooter Sandbrick, number five hitter. We're seeing the heart of the order here. Is there strike one? One and one now. Kapani might be finding her groove just late down and foul down the line. And now that's just late, but that's going to be fair. Eye off the wall. Scooter Sandwick will glide into second base with a leadoff double, which will bring up Linda Hand. She'll try to knock him in or at least get him over. And that's going to do the job, it looks like. Off the glove of the diving third baseman, Green. And we have runners at the corners here for Sky Rodriguez with a 343 batting average of th three homers and 16 RBIs despite playing a lot of time on the bench this year. Mostly a pinch hitter, but did get a good stretch where she was uh, starting. I believe that was when Kerry Cartman's future was in question, but then he picked things up. Now two and one. Runners on the corners, once again a pick over to uh, try to get Linda. No, no dice. Ball three low. Dangerous count, 3-1 to Sky Rodriguez. And that's ball four, she just walked the bases loaded. And here comes Chase Tabule, not necessarily known for his hitting, mostly his defense, but does have three knocked in so far in the season. That's a big looping curve for strike one. He's gonna take a second. Three walks already for Fran. Late on that one, strike two. Don't want to ground into a double play here. And he whacks one foul. Pot by hitter seemed to be a little late so far. And now that's a little looper, and that's going to drop. One run's going to score. The throw's going to come into third, and it's going to be cut before it gets there. Two runs score, and it's 2 nothing. Pot up high with runners at the corners, and Hudson Moyer up to bat. Ball one, he <laughs> does not have a hit or a run knocked in. In fact, this is his first at bat of the year. And it's a base hit up the middle. A run's going to score. So he'll add to uh, add to his support there. 3 nothing for the Platypie helping himself. Great job there. Great at bat by Hudson Moyer. Not trying to do too much. Went right back up the middle. And that will bring up the top half of the order. Katie Kaufman who walked in her first at bat and now a 1-1 count pitch from Gapani a big hook and that's going to loop in for a base hit and runner was rounding third that was Chase Tabule in a wise decision to put the brakes on here O'Wugliams will step up got out her first time up She'll take strike one here with the bases loaded. Nobody out. One and one. And now that's crushed into center field. But at the wall, it will be caught by Moore. Runner Tabule is tagging from third. And it's four to nothing. Plot up high here in the top of the second inning. A big crooked number so far. And there's only one out for Beefcake. Ball one inside on a changeup, it looked like. Two and oh. Three. Oh, sorry, that's a strike. Two and one. And that'll get out of the zone there. Ball three. And he'll, she'll walk the uh, bases loaded again. Muffin Studwick will step in. The cleanup batter. 0 for 1 on the day, but he does have great numbers here in this position. And gets a, a, a <laughs> I don't even know, a cement mixer. And will rip it into left field. Moyer, who seemed to have a piano on his back, stopped to play it, but still manages to get home. A relay throw almost got him. But now we have runners at first and second. Two outs, a runner did score on that play, and Scooter Sandbrick is up. It's 5 nothing. A run scored while... I was trying to get the word, get my words out there on that absolute hanger. There's a strike. Two and one. Already at 48 pitches is Kapani. Only in the second inning. And there's ball three. Here comes pitch number 50. And checked his swing to Sandbrick wisely. And that's ball four. So once again, the bases are loaded for Linda Hand. 
who singled in her last at bat. She's one for one. I believe it counts as an infield hit. It went off the glove of uh, Green over at third. A great diving try. Saved extra bases. Now that's ripped. That's in the gap, but it's going to be caught by Moore out in center. Not before a real crooked number gets put up. Five runs for the Platypi in the top half of the second inning. Five runs and five hits and a few walks, I might add. Buster Biggs will step in here to try to rectify what happened in the top half. That's a Moyer, a nice comfortable lead, but he's going to give up a base hit here to lead things off in the second inning. Not what you want to see after getting uh, su such good run support. And now that's a little liner in center. Linda charging. She will grab it. Fires back to first, but cannot double him off. One out for Magic Moore, the center fielder. And there's ball one. Trying to get a double play potentially here. Magic does have a lot of speed though, so it might be difficult to double him off, but there's strike two as he whiffs on a curveball. The payoff is swung on and missed. Strike three in the dirt. So after a huge strikeout there, we have two outs and runner on first for Johnson Swanson, the catcher. I want to try to retire him here so, so that their pitcher has to lead things off next inning. If Fran can even get to the next inning. And there's ball three inside. Three and one. The three one pitch whacked back foul. The three two. Runner going on three two count. And fouled back. Three two once again. And that's hit right to McStevens. He'll take a step in. Fire to first. It's a beauty of a throw. And that's out number three. So despite a leadoff hit for the B Wolves, nothing doing in the run column once again. And now we have Sky Rodriguez leading things off, and she'll take ball one outside. Five walks for, for Gapani thus far. Not looking good. And now that's ripped into right, but just did not get enough of it, and Kingman will make the grab in left field. Sorry, right field. Now Chase Tabule will step in, and he'll look at ball one high. Popped him up in the infield. Under it is the shortstop, Dexterez, and he'll make the grab in shallow left center field. Hudson Moyer steps in. And sorry, that was not his first at bat. Don't know why the scoreboard was lying to me. But it was. He now has a 200 batting average and a run knocked in. I didn't think it was his first at bat, but, you know, what can, you, what can I say? You have to give credit to these Plata Pie hitters. They are not just going fishing up up there they're making your throw strikes in a major difference from the last game as that's looped into left center but under it is the left fielder buster biggs and that'll end things here in the bottom of or sorry the top of the third inning we head to the bottom of the third where fran gapani will get her first chance to hit and she's going to line one low to sambrick who will make the grab at his ankles for out number one Hanley Dexteras will come in to hit now. He led that things off, and now that's going to be just trapped by Linda Han. A great try in center field, but just could not quite get there in time. And now we have runner at first with nobody out. Sorry, one out. <laughs> My bad. And now that's right back up the middle base hit. Linda's going to fire to first, actually, but nowhere near in time. And now we have Kobe Keegan, who actually did get a hit, uh, hit last time. That strike one, a good slider. He uh, he got an infield hit off the pitcher's glove. And now that's going to be into the left field get, uh, corner. Sorry, one run's going to score. The relay to second is not quite in time. Now five to one. For Ruby Green. And now they're going to... Yep, they're going to pitch around her. Well, they're going to... Sorry, they're going to intentionally walk her. Not just pitch around her. So now bases will be loaded to set up the double play. 
for Buster Biggs, who does have good speed. And there's a ball outside. The 1 0 pitch whacked foul. 1 and 1. Fooled him, strike two. And now the 1 2 pitch almost fooled him again with a nasty curveball. Couldn't quite do it though. The 2 2. It will get him on that one. A fastball up at the hands. And he'll swing and miss for strike three. Doesn't pop out that fastball much for strikeouts, but he can do it when he needs to. Bases loaded here, two outs. Now for Gina Torrens, the second baseman. And now that's hit down the right field line in foul territory, diving try for a Williams, but she did not come close to catching that one. Now two and one to the number six hitter. And tried to go up under her hands, but she did not bite. It's three and one. Strike one on a good backdoor hook. The three two. Whacked foul. Tried to backdoor a slider there. Couldn't quite get it past her. The three two. Swung on and missed. What an outing, or sorry, an inning for Mr. Hudson Moyer. Got into some trouble. And got right back out of it with two big strikeouts there. My goodness. Not normally known for his strikeouts, but he got him where he needed them there. And now rips a short. Dexeras, however, will throw it to first for out number one. And now here O. Williams will step up. That was Kitty Coffin with the quick out number one. And O. Williams will. That one strike one, but now that one is crushed in the right field. Deep diving is, is the right fielder, Kingman, and he's not going to get to it. It's an easy stand-up double for Harrow Wugliams. Just missed a homer. Just missed it. That one one hop the wall. Now here's Beefcake McStevens with the chance to get that run back. And now that's ripped into the gap. That one is going to get down easily. Into the little niche in left center field. Rounding second is Beefcake, but could not quite, uh, could not, there did not have enough time to get over to third. And it's a RBI double for Beefcake McStevens. Now Muffin Sedwick with a chance to keep the line a rolling. And he's gonna get the runner over here. Hit to Torrens. Beefcake will, uh, stroll into third base and now here's Scooter Sandberg with a chance he's one for one also has a walk double and a walk to his credit and he'll quickly see two balls not close to the strike zone and oh coming back there with a big backdoor slider for strike one and now that's up the middle base hit Beak Beak will sco score with ease and now we have runners at, or a runner at first base, two outs, and two runs have come in to score. Dusty Winder will come in to pitch now for Fran Gapani. She was flailing here almost all day. He has a 3.71 ERA on the air, one whip exactly, with 17 strikeouts. He, uh, he features a four-seamer changeup and a curveball from the right side. And Linda's gonna knock one into left center but uh, Buster Biggs will make the grab for out number three. And now before a couple of runs come into score, after a couple of doubles and a single, and we have a seven to one game in favor of the Platypi. So here's Hudson Moyer hoping to have a little bit better of an inning than last, at least a little bit less stressful of an inning, only end up giving up a run. So a win all told. And now, on the 2-2 pitch, swung on a missed strike three. Tabile will strap on the apron and do some housekeeping as that ball got did get in the dirt. But no trouble there for out number one. And there's strike one on the outside corner. Johnson Swanson. Well, line one into center. Linda, though, right on top of things. A perfect jump. And there's out number two for Dusty Winder, who is going to hit for himself here. There's ball one. In case we have any younger or newer to the game fans on that drop third strike as that's a little looper into center, but Beefcake 
making a strange grab for out number three. And I'll explain that rule in a minute as three up, three down, go the B-Wolves in the bottom half of the fourth. We're heading to the top of the fifth, Sky Rodriguez. I guess in case we have any uh, new viewers of baseball, on a uh, the rule on a strikeout, if it hits the dirt, is called a drop third strike. And um, if there is no runner occupying first base, then the batter gets a chance to run to first and has to be thrown out or tagged. And there's out number one by way of Sky Rodriguez. Here comes Chase Tabule. So there's your little uh, rule nugget of the game, if you will. And there's ball one high. And that is only on a third uh, a third strike and only if it is dropped or in the dirt, hits the dirt in some other way. And there's out number two. Also, a little clarification. Even though it's called a drop third strike, a catcher can potentially drop the ball and catch it before it hits the dirt and it would they would not have to tag the runner or go to first base and now that's going to be a quick three up three down inning for the plata pie so nothing doing for them as we head to the top sorry the bottom half of the fifth inning or hanley dexteres there's strike one also if a runner is occupying those bases and there's strike three just threw a two-seamer on the corner. Dexteris could not pull the trigger and chisel him out of that block of ice for out number one. But if there is two outs, it does not runner if a runner is occupying first. But if there is no out or one out and a runner is occupying first, the runner cannot go. The rule does not apply. Okay. Liner to second baseman out number two. How fitting for Kitty Kaufman there to grab the second out. And there's strike one. Foul down the line. And the 0-2 pitch almost got, a, got him to swing on that great pitch. 1-2. Went a little more inside with it. Couldn't get him to swing. It's 2-2. Two two. Now going to the outside and got him swinging. Great setup there by Hudson Moyer. We end the inning once again. 1-2-3. And we're right to the top of the 6. 1-2-3 for the pot of pie and a little liner into right and that's down for a base hit so she'll lead things off and the six run lead for the pot of pie much nicer than last week and dusty winder is going to fire and it's going to be a base hit Skitty, uh, kitty is going to scoot around second the throw to third is not in time and it was dropped so runners will be at the corners here with no buddy out. And that's way outside ball one. Runners at the corners. And now it's ripped right back up the middle base hit. O Williams will play a station to station. And it's now eight to one. Platypie as Muffin Studwick will step up, step up to the plate here. And now he's gonna rip one. That's gonna go towards that niche and uh, in uh, left center field, one run's going to score. Beefcake's around third, and he's going to score. It's 10-1, to one, plot of high. Scooter Sandbrick is two for two with a double single walk in RBI. And he's looking to add to his day with another RBI here, potentially. And he's going to, it looks like. Base hit up the middle. Muffin's being waved. He's going to be thrown out the plate. Oh, man, but... Scooter will get to second base and be credited with, a, credited with a double. Great piece of base running once he saw that high throw coming into home. Could not be cut off. Or wasn't going to be cut off. And he took uh, second easily as that's line and almost doubled up Scooter. But more heads up base running as he got back immediately on that line shot. Now here's Sky Rodriguez with now two outs. Runner on second. Now that's a little blooper into right. And going back, a huge stop sign for Scooter. He was about a quarter of the way down the line, but uh, put on the brakes immediately, the emergency brakes, if you will. And now on a 1-0 count, foul for Chase Tabule, the catcher. 
Has not needed to throw any runners out, but he's gonna get one up the middle. Oh, Torrens, a great snag. She'll get up, fire to first. A beautiful play by the second baseman for the B-Wolves. But not before three runs do come home to score for the pot of pie. And now up to the plate is Ruby Green, the third baseman, and just sneaking that one through the hole between Beefcake and Sky. And now a runner on first for Buster Biggs, the left fielder. And now just over the leaping glove of Sky Rodriguez, Muffin's gonna get to it very quickly. And so the runners will have to play station to station instead of getting a double on that one. So that one was absolutely ripped. I need a new baseball after that. Gina Torrens is going to get it. Sky stops it, throws to second. We'll get the out at second. No chance for a double play, but a heads up job there. May not have even had to play at first. It would have been close. So a great play there by Sky. And now Hudson Moyer will try to dig in his heels and not allow another run. Strike one on a good curve. Just missing ball one. Might be a double play candidate. Does have some good speed though. There does the B Wolf center fielder. There's ball two. Just off the plate. Two and two. The or sorry, three and two, and the three and two pitch on its way. Whacked foul. It was a good hook. And now that's off the plate. Ball four. So I believe that's the first intentional or non-intentional walk by Hudson Moyer. And they're going to leave him in here to try to get them out of the inning. Johnson Swanson is up. A potential double play threat. And now the count is two and one. Now two and two to the opposing catcher. The pitch will miss outside. Three and two. The three, two. Ground ball. McStevens fires a second. The turn is not in time. Oh my goodness. Now 10 to two, a good attempt there. Dusty Winder will not step into the plate. He was in the on deck circle, but Steve Monster will now Come in a pinch hit for him. He has a 196 batting average on the year with two homers and seven RBIs. And he is hitting from the left side. And there's strike one with two outs now. Presumably Hudson's last inning though. If he gets out of this quickly, he might get a chance to fire in one more. Or at least start the seventh. But he's at 85 pitches now. Here comes 86 on a 2-2 pitch. Swung on and missed strike three. And once again... Tabule will strap on his apron and head it, uh, throw it to first for out number three. And so a run will score for the B-Wolves. But that's all right as the Platypie still lead things 10-2. to two. Hudson Moyer is going to be pinch hit for here. A great outing today. And Willie Bacon will do the hit pinch hitting for him. Tats Bow 4 will fire in strike one. He has a four-seamer slider and a curveball. With a 178 ERA, 95 whip, and 25 strikeouts on the year coming in relief for his first inning. And he'll fire in ball one. And now his first non-curveball is hit on a line and knocked down, knocked it down by the first baseman. And he'll fire over to the covering pitcher for out number one. Heck of a play there as Kitty will step in. That one was ripped by Willie Bacon trying to prove himself to get back into the lineup starting lineup but Linda Hand is just proving to be too good right now now 3-1 to Kitty Kaufman one thing about ball four as his name suggests he is prone to walks but he will come back here with a strike and that's well low ball four great eye there by Kitty Kaufman who earns another walk on the day Hero O'Wugliams will step in we'll see if Kitty tries to uh, get a stolen base so far, no dice. The one and one. Strike one. Sorry, two. Sorry. Runner is going. That will miss outside. The throw is not in time. Just did slide under the bat, under the tag, into the bag. And now that's up the middle base hit. Kitty's gonna be waved. The throw from Magic Moore 
is in time. Oh my goodness. That outfield core for the B-Wolves has now saved two runs. Now, or sorry, has now gunned down two runners at the plate and potentially saved another couple just by holding them at third. Great arms out there in the outfield for the, these uh, B-Wolves. Now a 2-0 count to Beefcake. And now he's going to rip one into left field, but just sh short of the fence and caught out there by Buster Biggs for out number three. And coming into pitch will be Hugh Jacobs. But first, nothing doing for the Bladibai in the top of the seventh inning. Despite a walk, a stolen base, and a base hit. Hanley Dexteros will step in now. Hugh Jacobs, a relief pitcher for the Platypi, for has a four-seamer, a slider, and a curveball. Big curveball. 184 ERA on the year with a 130 whip and seven strikeouts. 1-1 one one to Hanley Dexteros. 1-2. 2-2 and two now. Whack back foul. Trying to go up and in again. The 2-2. Two -two. He'll lay off. 3-2. and two. The 3-2 three -two pitch. He'll lay off just off the plate. Ball four. Now nah, you want to start when more than likely they want to get three innings out of Hugh Jacobs. He'll fire ball one there. Their bullpen has been taxed of late. And now Kitty's going to grab this one. To second. Out number one to first. Not in time. So they will get one out. The lead runner. And now we have one out for... Kobe Kingman, who has a double and a single to his name on the day. Also an RBI. Strike one quickly, though. The 0-1 inside. Ball one. Keeping him honest. And now that's down the line. Ah, fair ball. Sorry. Fair ball just did. S sneak inside the line. The throw's going to come into third, and it's not in time. And Sky will drop it. As it one hop right in front of her. Doesn't really matter too much, though, as Ruby Green will step in here. Trying for the double play, for sure. And they might get one. And no, it's off of the diving McStevens glove. So a run will come in to score. Luckily, they'll corral, he'll corral it just in time to keep the runner at second. Now here's Buster Biggs. And now that's off the glove of the diving Sky Rodriguez. Runners will play station to station as Beefcake was able to back her up quickly. And now with bases loaded, it's Gina Torrens. And now that's off the glove. And they're going to get the out at first. No, they're not. He's, she's safe at first. Now bases loaded, one out. L Billy LeBoink is going to come in to, to pinch hit. For Magic Moore with the bases loaded, one out. Hugh Jacobs still in. Scooter will field, fires to home, gets an out, fire back to first, in time for the double play. It's a 3-2-3 three, three double play to end the inning to hold the B-Wolves at 2. That could have gotten out of hand real quickly. But Muffin Studwick will now come in here and he's going to rip one foul on a absolute hanger from Tats. Foul 4 and now he's going to rip one up the middle base hit. Almost took one of Balfour's toes with him. As now here's Scooter Sandbrick, who's 3-for-3 three three with a couple of doubles, a single, an RBI, and a walk on the day. And there's strike two. Muffin at second. Or sorry, at first. Now that's inside ball two. The two-and-two two pitch to Scooter. And he, can, he probably will not add to his amazing day. As there's the first time Scooter has been retired on the day for out number one. Here's Linda Hand, one for four with a single. And she's going to rip this one into left center field. Tailing away from Magic Moore, and it's going to get by him. All the way to the niche in left center field once again. Linda's going to chug for three, and she's going to slide in there with a triple. It's an RBI triple to get one of those runs back for Hugh Jacobs. Sky Rodriguez now with one out. Runner on third is Linda Hand. And she's going to bust one up the middle for a base hit on the first pitch. It's 12 to 4. The B Wolves can't catch a break. Uh, it seems like as soon as they score, the Pot of Pies score a couple more. 
Now Tabule with one out is going to hit this one. It's heading for the gap. But Dexteres will make the grab. And my my pardon, uh, that was not Magic Moore. He is actually out of the game now. Dexteres is playing center field for him. Hugh Jacobs is going to stay in the game, it looks like. And he's going to rip one into left. But it's going to go all the way to Biggs in left field. That one was a line shot off of the relief pitcher. So they will match back with two runs. 12 to 4 for the Platypi still leading. Johnson Swanson will lead things off, and he's going to give this one a ride. Deep shot. Hero Wugliams is going to overrun it. She overjudged it a little bit. It bounces in front of her as she dives to the side. And now Tats Bell 4 will be pinch hit for by Freddie Knox, who has a 115 average on the year, no homers, and three RBIs. Have to imagine that they'll let that run come into score. There's strike one. So, there, oh, there's a liner to Muffin Sudwick. He's going to fire in home. The throw is just late. So, a run will come into score. It's 12 to 5 for Hanley Dexteras, now playing center field. And there's strike one. In the bottom of the eighth inning. And, and Sky Rodriguez will dive, throw it, and oh, Scooter can't quite scoop it. Can't quite bail her out at first base. And now one out. With a runner at first, strike one. Wasn't that bad of a hop. Scooter just couldn't handle it. And now that's going to be hit hard into, into right field. But Hero Wugliams has a cannon, so they're not going to test her and hold up at second base. Kobe Kingman will come in. And that's going to get it into center field. Right, left center field. Muffin Studwick is going to grab this one. No one covering first base for some reason. Could have gotten him on a back pick but now it's 12 to 6 obviously you want to get innings out of Jacobs but at what cost but there's an out we'll quickly get it back into second base two outs now Hugh Jacobs will take a deep breath here 12 to 6 two outs runners at first and second the pitch in the dirt ball one tries it again and it'll Get it past him for strike one. Now that's a grounder to third. The Sky Rodriguez thinking about touching third, but she'll just fire over the diamond. And this time a perfect throw from her. And there's out number three. So a couple runs for the uh, B-Wolves, too, precisely. And now Benson Rushmore will come in to face Kitty Kaufman, who has who has two for three with a couple of singles and a couple walks on the day. Benson Rushmore, 185 ERA, 144 whip, 12 strikeouts. He features a four-seamer, two-seamer slider, and a curveball. And he'll get one past Kitty there, strike one. Now she'll ground one to short. Throw to first. We're out, number one, by Plaintiff. The new shortstop for the B-Wolves. Here's Hera O'Wugliams. Another, oh, as that's, oh my goodness, that was an absolute hammer that kind of just hung there actually but Hero could not take advantage of it there's here comes a one two count we'll miss inside two and two inside three and two ball four so Hera will take a walk there great eye to earn that walk and now here's beefcake and actually a nice as we see many walks to many of the Platypies hitters names you'll notice that it does not count as an official at bat so those hits you get once again for any new uh, new watchers of baseball if you get walked or get hit by a pitch it does not actually count for your line as a batter so say you get a hit as that's strike three to beefcake say you get a hit and a walk you'd be only one for one not two for two now here's Muffin Studwick with two outs and he'll line one to Torrens for out number three. So Gina Torrens will lead things off here. And Jacobs is going to come in once again, trying to actually pick up the save as Sky Rodriguez will field it and fire to first for round number one. Even though there's a massive lead di difference, especially when he came into this ballgame. Uh, is that strike one? 
he actually does have does qualify for the save if he can finish things off here as that's out number two one out away because he's he will have fired three innings to end the ball game so there's strike one bit of a weird save that doesn't happen much these days but an effort to save the pin he might get a chance to earn it there's ball two outside the two one a little weak uh, pop-up muffin or sorry scooter just missing would have been a great play to end things now two and two will miss low three and two and strike three call to end the ball game put up high will win this offensively heavy game and uh, yeah, 12 to six Platypie. They their box score will read 12 runs, 18 hits with one error, while the B Wolves had six runs on 14 hits and no errors. And the uh, winning pitcher for the Platypie, Hudson Moyer, with six innings, seven hits allowed, struck out seven, making a liar out of me. As I said, began the broadcast by saying that he does not, or he is not a strikeout pitcher. He came out and struck out seven batters through his six innings. He, his record will go to four and one. He gave up just two earned runs and walked just two batters. And now the loss goes to Fran Gapani, who could only muster three and two thirds as she scattered eight hits, allowed seven earned runs, walked five batters, and struck out just one as her record falls to three and two. The save. As I mentioned, the weird save goes to Hugh Jacobs, who went three innings, scattered seven hits, gave up three earned runs, a walk, struck out a batter, and that'll be his first save of the year. Now your Metalhead Software player of players of the game will be at number one, Beefcake McStevens, who went two for four with a double, two RBIs, and two runs knocked in. Our number two player of the game is Kobe Kingman, who went four for five, two with a double and two RBIs and a run scored. Scooter Sandbrick, we, he went three for four. He got two doubles, an RBI, and a run scored. So it'll be curtains for the B-Wolves as the Platypie once again uh, win this one 12 to six. A massive blow to the B-Wolf faithful here at Emerald Diamond Field. And uh, yeah, other domination. For the Platypi as they beat up their division foes to now go to a two and a half game lead in the division with just uh, let's see four games left now in the in the uh, regular season so I hope you enjoyed this broadcast of Sunday evening baseball that's Platypi baseball on the classic cookie gaming channel cookie cutter signing off here see you next week bye